Hey guys, I'm Madison Brodsky with the Red Carpet Report, and I'm at the Emma Heen Awards in Beverly Hills talking to nominees and presenters about the importance of diversity and inclusion. I'm going to start with Diego because I knew that he was going to be here just now. Diego, I love you on all... All right, let me start that over. On my block. Am I good now? Okay. I love you on all my block. Why did you decide this role was going to be your huge breakout role? What attracted you to the character? I mean, I was auditioning for everything that, uh, you know, got hands in my way. I was a fresh-faced kid. I was 18 years old. I moved out to Los Angeles, and uh, this audition came along, and I looked up the writers, the creators, and, and I saw their work, and I saw that it was very unique. So off the bat, I knew it was going to be something good. Uh, I read the sides. The sides were amazing and the first uh, few scripts, and I had a suspicion that, you know, we were on to gold. Uh, I've been blessed with this opportunity, and honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better first role. Uh, so, yeah, it's been a nice, nice ride. I think the show's really cool because it explores so many different issues that are like real life issues. It's not just like, okay, here's just a random situation that we're going to throw you guys in. What's one that really stood out to you and that meant a lot that you got to explore and tell? I mean, I guess it's just the most human experience to, uh, to really push push your obstacles. You know what I mean? Like in life, we're all going through something. And especially my character, has been, he's been born into some rough circumstances and he keeps hanging on for his life along with his friends fighting for his life. So I think like all of us, it's such a human quality to be going through stuff and uh, to have that, that quality to never, ever give up. Um, and I think we're going to see that in season three, which is coming very soon. We start shooting tomorrow. Are you excited? Very excited. What's the group chat like right now? Ah, oh, man. What's the group chat like right now? Our, our group chat? Well, our group chat is, hey, uh, let's link up at Julio's house and we'll yeah. all rehearse. How's everyone feeling from karaoke last night? Yeah. It's actually what's on the group chat right now. Okay, so we had a cast karaoke session last night. Who's the best singer? Who's the worst? Breck Ray's the best singer and I'm the worst singer. You're the worst singer. I'm the worst singer. I give it heart, you know. I he give has it. the most heart into it. Like, I put the heart That's into it. Yeah. What's your go-to song? Uh, Bad Fish by Sublime. I need to hear a line. Uh, when you grab a hold of me, you promise that I'll never be set free. You're not that bad. You're All right. Well. All right. Let's All right. Go. Before I let you go, tease season three for me. What can we expect? Uh, a lot of funny. I mean, the show's always been funny, but for some reason, third season, they just kind of brought it back full circle, and it's, uh, yeah, I laughed out loud a couple of times reading the script. I, I definitely think that they brought back that humor and that joy that we had in first season. Uh, you know, season two was also very funny, but it also tackled some very serious issues, such as homelessness, uh, abandonment, uh, you know, not knowing who your mother is. Uh, so it was a little bit more, more. Uh, let's just say a lot of people ended up, the ended every episode crying a lot. This this season, um, not to say you're not going to cry, you, you definitely dark, will. You dark, but, uh, but uh, yeah, you, you'll definitely experience that, that sense of lightheartedness more towards the beginning, at least. I'm excited. Thank you, guys. Have fun tonight. All right, guys. Do you hear the music? It's time to get salsa dancing. See you later.